case, so let's solve this topic. So trigonometric substitution. So in trigonometric substitution, these are the guides. Then we have this given. So since in the given, we have this 4 plus x squared. So we're going to use this equation, a squared plus x squared. And a squared is equal to 4. So a squared equals 4. Then to solve for a, so just take the square root. So a is equal to 2. Then for this equation, we let x equals a tangent theta. So x equals, so since a is equal to 2, so we have 2. Then tangent theta. Then to find the derivative of x. So since the derivative of tangent theta is second squared theta. So we have now 2. Then second squared theta. D theta. Then we need to substitute these values of x and dx. So from this given. So we have the integral of x squared. Then since x is equal to 2 tangent theta, so we have 2, then tangent theta, then to the power 2. Then over this square root of 4, then plus this x squared, then again x is equal to 2 tangent theta, then to the power 2. Then for dx, so since dx is equal to 2 second squared theta d theta, so we have 2, then second squared theta d theta. Then simplify, so we have the integral, this 2 squared, that's 4, and tangent theta squared, that's tangent to the power 2 theta, then over, so the square root of 4, then plus, so 2 squared, that's 4, and tangent theta squared, that's tangent squared theta, then this 2, second squared theta, d theta. Then we have now the integral of 4, tangent squared theta then over since we can factor out this 4 so we need to put 4 outside so therefore 4 divided by 4 that's 1 then plus this 4 tangent squared theta divided by 4 that's tangent squared theta then this 2 second squared theta d theta then simplify, so we have now the integral of 4 tangent squared theta, then over, since the square root of 4 is 2, then the square root. So for this 1 plus tangent squared theta, so since 1 plus tangent squared x is equal to second squared x, so therefore this 1 plus tangent squared theta is equal to second squared theta then this 2 second squared theta d theta then we can cancel this 2 so we have now the integral of this 4 then tangent squared theta then over so the square root of this second squared theta that's second theta, then times second squared theta, d theta. Then simplify, so we can put this 4 outside. So we have 4, then the integral. Since we can cancel the second theta, then cancel 1. So we have now this tangent squared theta second theta, then d theta. Then we need to 
change this tangent squared theta using this identity that second squared x minus 1 equals tangent squared x. So therefore, this tangent squared theta, so we have 4, then the integral. So again, this tangent squared theta is equal to second squared theta minus 1. So that's second squared theta minus 1 then times this second theta, d theta. So, second theta, d theta. Then, we need to integrate every term and distribute the second theta, d theta to every terms. So, we have 4, then times the integral. So, second squared theta times second theta. So, you add the exponent. So, this becomes second to the power 3 theta, then d theta, then minus times this negative 1. So, that's the integral of second theta d theta. Then, we have 4 times since the integral of second to the power 3. So, we have this... Uh, integral of second to the power 3 so this one is equal to 1 half then second theta tangent theta then plus so 1 half then ln then the absolute value of second theta plus tangent theta then minus, then for the integral of the second theta, the theta, so this is the integral for second x dx. So therefore, that's ln, then the absolute value of second theta plus tangent theta. Then since we can combine these two terms, so these are like terms. So we have now 4 then times this 1 half. Then second theta, tangent theta. Then this 1 half minus 1. So 1 half minus 1, that's negative 1 half. Then this ln. Absolute value of second theta plus tangent theta. Then distribute this positive 4 to every term. So 1 half times 4 or 4 times 1 half. This one is 2. Then we have second theta tangent theta. Then to this term. So minus 1 half of 4. That's 2. Then ln, absolute value of second theta plus tangent theta. So from this equation, we need to substitute the values for this second theta and tangent theta. Then since x is equal to 2 tangent theta, so therefore x equals to tangent theta. So to solve for this tangent theta, we need to divide both sides by 2. So therefore, tangent theta is equal to x over 2. Then in a Pythagorean theorem, so for tangent, that's opposite over the adjacent. So in a right triangle, so if this is angle theta, so opposite, this one is x, this is the opposite, and adjacent, that's 2, so this is the adjacent, and for the hypotenuse, so just the square root of the sum of the square of the opposite plus the square of the adjacent. 
So, this one is the hypotenuse. Then, to solve now for this second theta, since second theta is the inverse of cosecant theta, so if cosecant theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, so therefore, the second theta is equal to hypotenuse over the adjacent. So hypotenuse, that's square root of x squared plus 4 over the adjacent, that's 2. So these are the values for tangent theta and second theta. So substitute now the values. So from this equation, so we have 2 then times. So second theta, that's square root of x squared plus 4 then over 2 then times tangent theta so tangent theta that's x over 2 then minus so we have 2 then ln so the absolute value of second theta so second theta that's square root of x squared plus 4 then over 2 then plus tangent theta, so tangent theta, that's x over 2. Then plus c. Then simplify, so we have 2, then times, so multiply this uh, numerator and denominator, so we have x, then square root of x squared plus 4, then over, so 2 times 2, that's 4. Then minus this 2, then ln. So since uh, the same denominator, so you just copy the denominator and add the numerator. So we have this, the square root of x squared plus 4, then plus x, then plus c. Then simplify, so since 2 and 4 divisible by 2, so this one is 2, so we have now x, then square root of x squared plus 4, then over 2, then minus this 2, then ln, then the absolute value of square root of x squared plus 4, then plus x over 2, then plus c. So this is now the final answer.